This video from CES 2018 is brought to you by the Symbios demo car from Group Renault. We'll have that linked in the video description. So we're here in the ASUS ROG suite where they've got a ton of amazing display technology on display. First up is their 144Hz 4K HDR gaming monitor that we actually saw demoed like a year ago, the PG27UQ. But the key difference is that they are actually going to be shipping this thing really soon. So that's a large 27-inch G-Sync display, 144Hz, 4K, pretty much can't go wrong. Unless, of course, you're into ultra-wide gaming, in which case you might be more into the PG35VQ. So that's a 3440 by 1440, 35-inch G-Sync, 200Hz display. So that is double the refresh rate of the Predator X34, one of my personal favorite gaming displays. Also here is ASUS's flavor of NVIDIA's BFG TV display, what are they calling it? Yeah, yeah, <coughs> BFGD or big format gaming display. I don't think they have a model name for it yet, but in a nutshell, it's a 65 inch monitor effectively because it doesn't have a TV tuner, but it does have a lot of features that are appealing to gamers. So it uses a VA panel with a 3000 to one contrast ratio. It runs at 120 Hertz, 4K resolution with HDR, and it has a built-in Nvidia shield. So you can play Android games, you can stream Netflix, Amazon Prime, etc. But most importantly, they're boasting ultra low latency. So if you're a couch gamer, that looks like it's gonna be the solution sometime later this year. The most visually interesting one though, is probably this guy. Now on the surface, this looks pretty boring. It's just like a couple of rubber pieces at the top and bottom. And then it's a, a strip of PMMA, which is a plastic material similar to acrylic. But what's special about it is the Fresnel style lenses that are cut into it. So traditionally the way to achieve bending of light would be to have like a big bubble lens, but instead this just has a bunch of slits cut into it all along, kind of similar to the rings that you see inside of an HTC Vive. And what it does is if you put it on top of the bezels of ASUS's PG258Q gaming monitor, it makes them essentially disappear by stretching the edge of this screen and the edge of this one, creating a bezel-less effect. Now, it's not perfect. You do lose a little bit of light, so they are a little bit dimmer, but I will say that if you're into sim racing, the experience is significantly more immersive. They're optimized for 130 degree angles and they're working on getting it working with the PG35VQ and pricing is expected to be, well, they don't know, but they're saying under $100, which like I would hope so, but like that seems pretty reasonable if you're into surround gaming, so. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I took apart their demo. Anyway, this video was brought to you guys by the Symbios demo car from Group Renault. We checked it out quite recently. It's their level four autonomous car that I actually got to drive. And I use the term drive with a serious asterisk on it because we managed to take it out on the freeway with my hands completely off the wheel, the seat tilted back, and then at its most extreme, with a VR headset on that was actually simulating what it would be like if I was in a completely different environment whatsoever with the car sensors themselves tied into the VR headset. So you guys are going to want to check out that video to see the latest in autonomous driving innovations. We're going to have it linked in the video description. So thanks for watching guys. Dislike or like, check out, uh, well, I mean, you can't buy any of this stuff yet, but uh, check out, um, subscribe so you don't miss any of our CES 2018 content.